Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part two of how to use nonverbal communication to get brilliant results. In this part and the following part, I'd like to discuss the importance of making the very best first impression. So how vital are first impressions? Well, according to New York University research, that shows that 11 decisions are made in the first seven seconds when you make contact with a person for the first time. So you better smile. And these impressions cover a wide range of variables, including education, your economic situation, the level of trustworthiness, and also the level of sophistication, and your social and professional desirability. And your nonverbal communication you know, plays a significant role, a major role, makes a major contribution to this overall impression. Now, not surprisingly, you know, if you are open and self-disclosing, you have a much greater chance of being perceived as highly credible. So what drives this rapid judgment? Why are we so judgmental? And what causes this to happen? And also importantly, what adjustments do you need to make? Certain lightning judgments are made, well, in a second by your amygdala. You have two of them. And the amygdala is part of the mammalian brain, the middle brain. It sits just above the old brain. And like the old brain, it is highly evolved. See, long before humans have the capacity for rational thinking, rational thought, the amygdala played a key role in scanning the environment to make sure you were safe. It actually makes a snap judgment call and it leaves the prefrontal cortex, the neocortex, the new brain, way behind when it comes to those big emotionally based decisions. And this is hardwired into the neurology. So it pays to be ever ready and prepared to make that positive impression from the get go. So really love your amygdala. They keep you safe. Now, if you are unaware at the speed by which people judge you, it's highly likely that you will be ill-prepared to make the very best first impression. Now, this can be extremely costly since most people will not allow you the opportunity to correct the first impression. It's rarely afforded. Now, judgment leads to prejudice, uncannily so. So the first impression is obviously the final impression. Now, interestingly, so many people are blissfully unaware of the impression they give when they first meet someone. And even more curious is that many people, in fact, give the opposite impression to that which they wish to convey. So what can we do to make the first impression, the best impression, and the lasting impression? Remember, we've only got seven seconds at the very most to make our mark. Now, linguistically, impression is a nominalization. So let's make it into a bit of an action, into a verb. So we want to impress. So here's some things that we can do to really make this happen. It's essential that you look the part. Stand tall, look relaxed, be well-groomed, breathe deeply, be open, use positive gestures and appear confident. These tips are so important. When you approach a person, Make sure you are standing erect, standing tall with your shoulders back. Every part of your body should be pointed directly at the person. And of course, maintain good eye contact and don't forget to smile. Remember their name and make sure that you use it. So that completes this part on first impressions. And I hope if you've watched this for the first time, I've made a reasonable impression on you. So thanks for watching. If you can, visit my website, knowyourmind.com, my blog, mikelally.com. And if you wouldn't mind, could you please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the green link above or the subscribe button below, and you will know when the next part is available. Please keep in mind, you have many faces, so let's put them to use. Let's begin to tune in to our non-verbal communication, our verbal and non-verbal communication, so we can get the very best results. I'd like to speak a little bit more on first impressions next time. So until then, cheerio for now.